What's up guys? Uh, it's Saturday. I'm in the office here, uh, but I'm not actually here to work as much as everyone thinks. I work all the time. Well, I do work a lot, but I do reserve weekends uh, for the family and for the kids and to hang out and have fun and do things like that. So um, I'm actually here just to, just came to grab this camera. Um, we're gonna go see some friends that open a restaurant. I'm super pumped for them. I'm super proud uh, that they like they just put their heads down. They got it done. They didn't come up with any BS excuses of why they couldn't do it. Um, so the restaurant's open. So I'm grabbing my camera to go help uh, create a little bit of content for them. Um, they've got a lot of attention right now for this. They opened like a Hawaiian style restaurant. Um, we live we live in like a resort island area. So we live in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Uh, if you didn't know that already. And um, anyways, Hawaiian restaurant, I'm gonna help them create some content. There's a lot of buzz about it right now. So um, I, super important thing for, for those of you who get a lot of attention for something or start something new, capitalize on every bit of it as much as you can in the beginning because that newness is gonna wear off and you wanna carry that through as long as you can uh, and capitalize on that. So um, that's what I'm gonna help them do. And then we're gonna go hang out at my uncle's house and go swimming and play with kids and do things like that. Uh, so I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. You guys got to see this. Aloha. Aloha. This is awesome. So what they did is they created their, their like, they lived in Hawaii for a while. And this, they, what they created is their own like Hawaiian restaurant concept. How's it? Piecing together different types of restaurant restaurants that they would go to in Hawaii. And um, they saw a really cool opportunity. So they're, they're putting that together and it's like a, build your own like rice fruit bowl situation. So um, you pick your rice, you. you pick your meat, you pick your fruits, they put it together into a bowl and you have a super tasty, convenient, healthy meal. That's right. It's pretty sweet. Hi. Hi. Guys, this is Alex with Al's Aloha. Aloha Kitchen. He started the whole deal and you know, you've watched some of my stuff before. It's all yes. about business and all that. What? First of all, I'm super proud of you for like both all of you guys involved Thank you. Thank you. for like just putting your heads down, getting it done. I remember talking to when, when did I see Tori? When did I see you and you were talking about maybe doing this? Was yeah, that a Halloween, Zach's house. Halloween party or something? Yeah, Zach's house. I don't remember November. Anyways, this is like an idea seven, eight months ago, and it was like I think we're gonna do this. I want to know from you like what were some of the pain points, what did you learn from it? What would you do or not do again? And what were some of the, like, the biggest things uh, that helped you like just execute on it? I think that what made me jump for it was that I knew Hilton Head was needing a new flavor. We needed a new place to go out and enjoy lunch and something that was fast and convenient and friendly. And uh, kind of just more of that island lifestyle that was sort of lacking down here. And uh, what really pushed me to do it was uh, just to finally do something on my own, be my own boss, and bring something new to the island. And that's pretty much it. That's awesome. Yeah. I imagine, so you, you've had a lot of people helping along the way, and it seems like you did a good job of strategically putting a team in place, uh, delegating work to certain people to help bring this whole thing together. Because it's not like you, you didn't do it the entire thing by yourself with two hands. And that's what I try to stress to people is you can't do it all yourself. You've got to You've got to put pieces of that puzzle together to, to make it all happen. So, yeah. anyways, I'm super pumped. I'm Thank super you very proud much, of you guys. Thank you, everybody. Aloha. Guys, 
That's actually a perfect analogy. Starting a business is a lot like learning how to swim. You got people to kind of help you and guide you along the way if you want to ask questions and things like that, which I highly recommend you do. If there's something you don't know, ask. Ask anybody that might have an answer. Don't feel afraid. There's no such thing as a dumb question. But eventually you just have to kind of like jump into the pool and, and go. You figure it out along the way. Um, thankfully, starting a business is not as dangerous as learning how to swim. And if you make a mistake, you just learn from that mistake. You try not to make that mistake again. Um, and you keep going. The entire thing is a learning process. Uh, you never quit learning. And once you kind of learn how to swim, if you will, um, and you're up and running, it's like running a marathon or swimming laps. Uh, you know, you don't just go from one end of the pool to the other end of the pool. Um, you turn around and you swim another lap and you turn around and you swim and you're just constantly going the entire time. Um, and a lot of people can't relate to that. A lot of your friends may not relate to that. So it could be, uh, it can be lonely at times. People won't understand the work ethic and what it takes to uh, for you to run your business. Uh, so prepare, be prepared for that. It's not like the most fun, glamorous, exciting experience all the time, um, and it's not for everybody. So, uh, but if you think it's for you and it's something that you want to do and try, I highly, highly recommend you get out, you do it, and uh, you give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? You know, I mean. If it fails, it fails, and that's that's something you need to embrace and say, at least I tried. If you don't try it, you'll live with a what if forever. Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video.